three reasons why PlayStation controllers are better. Alright, so I got my list ready, and I have a couple things. Now, I'm sure if you've seen my channel before, you have seen me talk shit about Xbox controllers because they are fucking ass. I mean, I love Xbox, but their controllers are terrible. Between the batteries, they break easily, the stick drift, the bumpers break, it's, it's ridiculous. It's, and I'm not even rough on my controllers, I'm really not. And it's crazy because people would say, like, I got a lot of comments on a TikTok I made about it, right? And they were like, oh... You just don't clean, or you don't take care of your stuff, or you're always dropping it, or something like that. And that's really not the case. I would argue that with myself, I probably... Remember, I had my PlayStation 2. The original PlayStation 2, with its original controller from the box since 2001, when it came out, when I got it when I was a kid. When I was a kid. I'm 28 now. So I was like a kid when that shit came out. So, I've dropped that controller. I've probably... I mean, I don't remember off the top of my head. But I probably threw it at something. Who knows? And that shit still works fine. And it's, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't touched it, I haven't really used it in like in a year or two, maybe longer. And it is a little dirty right now, I'm actually gonna get around to cleaning it. But it still works fine. The only thing that doesn't work, I had to turn off the vibration, because when it vibrates, it turns off the analog for some reason. It's really weird, so I just turn off the vibration, and it's good. And I was playing Jack 3 on it, so I remember last time I was playing on it, whenever that was. I think it was like a year ago. And, uh, it, it, it was vibrating and it, it, would, it would go on and off, so it was annoying. Anyways, let's get into the video. So, the number one reason why I think that PlayStation controllers are better is because it feels good in your hand. Like, I have my controller right here, right? Take it up. This is it right here. It just feels like, look at this, it just feels good. It's just, it's just like... The button clicks, you know, I think I made a previous video on like how good the button sounds. And it's just, it's just amazing. I love the way they feel and that's why I think, you know, when you grab this, it feels, it feels a little weight to it, but not a lot of weight. But it also, it just, like, I know they are a little big and I have small hands. Listen, I'm short, I'm 4'10", so I got small ass hands. So, but if I can grab it and I have a problem with it. I don't think the controller itself is too big. You know, it is compared to other ones, I will say. But the way it feels, it's smooth. You know, it just feels better in your hand. The way you, you grab the buttons. Like, it just it just feels better overall. Even this controller is a little dirty. You know, i got to clean it too. But it feels really good. So, that's number one. I think it just feels good when you play it, when you lift it. It just feels premium. It just more matches the aesthetic of, like, the PS5, the controller, like, I don't know, it just, it just feels right, you know, when you, when you grab it. So that's number one. So number two, they last a long time. Let's be honest, I got my PlayStation 4, I did have one problem with one controller, but that's like a rare thing, just with the wire when you plug it in, it won't charge correctly, but that's about it, the controller works fine. But it still charges, but like, on certain angles it doesn't. That's my PS4 controllers, which is... Actually, I don't have it with me. It's actually upstairs, because I use it for, like, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, stuff like that. So, I don't really use to play games as much. I downloaded any PS4 games. I just download my PS5 if I want. So, I really don't play my PS5. I mean, my PS4 like that. So, you know, my PlayStation 2 controller, you know, that shit works fine as well. You know, I still have that. So, I mean... You know, like I said, I've had this since I was a kid. I would argue I probably treated that controller more like shit than my controllers that I have now, yet my Xbox controllers break all the time. Like, come on, it's not, it's, 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 it's not rocket science. Like, you know, people could talk shit or whatever, like in my comments on the TikTok video I made about it. If you're like, oh, you don't take care of it and whatnot, nah. Like, if you look right behind me, I got an Xbox 360 controller. The reason, main reason why I have that controller behind me is actually it's because it's a Halo ODST edition. It came with my Xbox 360 Elite. And it was a Halo ODST edition. So that's why I have it. That controller, it still works fine from what I remember. And I never had any problems with it. But the analog is kind of like the rubber is kind of falling off. It's kind of chewed up. And for me playing on it for so long. But I had a lot of good memories with that controller. Playing Halo Reach, Halo ODST, Firefight. You know, I'm getting off topic. But, you know, that controller lasted me a long time. So number three I have here is, is customization for the lights and the sounds. So... I don't know the full thing about the lights. So apparently, if you look here, right here, you know, obviously this thing lights up in between, in the middle here, right? It lights up. 
normally it's like whatever colors but if you plug it into your computer and download some app i gotta find it i gotta find some application you can change the lights it could be rainbow it could be like different colors like it could like you know rotate to different colors or it could be set to different colors of whatever you want and in my personal opinion i think that's really cool i haven't done it yet it's something i'm gonna look more into and i'll probably make a set i feel like that's its own separate video that i want to make and just say like Hey, you know, this is how you do this. You download this program. Hopefully the program's safe. You know, I don't want someone to download some piece of shit program. So I want to do more research on that. So we can do that. And then it's kind of custom. It's, it falls into com customization, but it's a little different is the sounds. You can go into the PS5 option with the sound settings for your either mono or, you know, headset stereo. So you can have it where if you have one headphone in, all the sound comes from there. If you have it with headphones, you could, you know, customize it so it's better for that for the surround sound you know left right hearing stuff like that so like with the xbox i don't believe you could do that i mean i i did check before i made this video and i didn't see anything that you could check like that so i mean if i'm wrong definitely correct me like but i don't think so personally but if you guys in the comments you see this video you're like oh this this bitch is wrong you know correct me i don't care you know, i'm not a fake to admit i'm wrong but you know so that's why i think the ps5 controller and number one as i mean another one which is kind of like a bonus. Let's be honest. There's no batteries in the PS5 controller. Why wouldn't Why wouldn't I rather just have to be able to charge my controller and not to worry about batteries for probably the lifetime of the controller? Or if I think I buy a new one in 5 to 10 years, whatever it is. And then either I'm buying rechargeable batteries or I'm buying batteries or I'm buying a wired controller. Which isn't too bad. But I think just they should just have it where... Or if what they could do, because I'm pretty sure Microsoft has like a deal with like the with like what is it uh, Duracell or some shit. They have to at this point. Duracell is begging. They gotta be. Be I mean, this is just all assumption and hearsay. Don't take it with a grain of salt. But that that's like my little perspective on it. Like, let's be begging. No, please, like keep batteries in it because like that's like a lot of you know the big loss for them. You know, for Duracell. I mean, we still use batteries for other things, but I feel like low key batteries are just coming. I wouldn't say obsolete. But they're definitely coming a little less and less. Like, we still use it for TV remotes and certain things like that. Like, absolutely. But the whole battery situation with Xbox is, is bullshit. So, you know, that's it. You know, it's just a short video. Nothing crazy, nothing long. Um, I like to keep my videos between, like, 5 and 10 minutes. Because I feel like, you know, who wants to sit and watch a 10 minute, uh, an hour video on controllers? You know? So if you like the video, if you got value out of it, you know, feel free to comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. Uh, like the video, share it to a friend. That would be cool. You know, I, I think, you know, I've been doing YouTube for a while, but I'm really trying to take it more seriously. So, you know, hopefully, you know, maybe I can get out there more. All right. I appreciate you guys and take care. Bye-bye.